Hello, good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to canineprogesterone.com. Today I'll be demonstrating the P4 analyzer. This fluorescent scanning instrument measures progesterone levels in canine serum. The test consists of a test strip, a buffer, and a microchip. This microchip is where the curve is. So you don't need any calibration or any mixing of reagents. All you need is serum and this buffer to perform the test. Okay, we have two P4 analyzers. The white one, I have calibrated it to IDEX. And the silver one, I have calibrated it to Antec. I have frozen serum from a female that was in heat from the beginning of the heat until after ovulation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test these six tests at a time and try them in both machines so you guys can see the difference and you guys can see how easy it is. The test consists of two pipettes. One is 30 UL that you need of serum and the other is 75 UL that you need of the buffer serum mix to put in this little strip right here. Okay, so we're gonna perform all six tests at the same time with an interval of 30 seconds to a minute so we don't get confused. And I'll show you guys the results on both machines. Like I said before, this one is IDEX and this one is Antec. This is great for veterinary clinics or big breeders. Okay, let's go ahead and perform the tests. Before we start, let me show you how the tests come. They come in boxes of 25. So it's 25 buffers, 25 test strips, and one microchip. And like I said before, this is the curve and the calibration. Everything is there. So you don't need to move your machine at all. You put the test strip in with the lot number facing up. You don't want to put it in the wrong way because you'll break the teeth inside the machine. You put the buffers to room temperature for like 10-15 minutes. And after that, we get pipettes, one that's 30 UL. And one that's 75 UL. Okay, so we have both of them there. We're gonna go with test number one. What we do is get 30 UL of serum. Make sure there's no bubbles there. Okay, you get 30 UL of serum. You get a buffer. You mix it in the buffer. You can pipette it up and down. Or you can just mix about 10 times. Then we get the 75 UL pipette. We draw the serum buffer mix. Make sure there's no bubbles. And we are going to place it in the little round hole of the test strip. Okay, the incubation time is 15 minutes in the incubation chamber. It's already set. So we are going to put the test strip in, the first one, and let it incubate for 10 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna do another test. I'll change these pipette tips get new ones and we'll go to test number two we get the 30 ul pipette we'll go to the test number two withdraw make sure there's no bubbles there again you get another buffer you place it in you pipette it up and down or you mix it.
you get the 75 UL. You withdraw. And you place it in the little round hole of the test strip. Then we put it in the incubation chamber for 15 minutes. Each slot has an alarm system so you don't get confused. Okay, we change the pipette tips again. And we'll go to test number three. Remember, this is a female that was in heat and I was just following her after ovulation. Test number three. You get the buffer. You mix the 30 UL in the buffer. You pipette it up and down. Or you can mix it. Then you get the 75 UL. And we get another test strip. And put it in the little round hole. And we place it in the incubation chamber. We change the pipette tips again. And we'll go to test number four. Okay, brand new pipette tips. We get 30 UL of serum. We put it in the buffer. You can shake it about 10 times, or you can also pipette it up and down. We get the 75 UL pipette. We draw. Get the test strip, put it in the little round hole. We put it in the incubation chamber. All right, so we go to test number four. Change the pipette tips again. Okay, brand new pipette tips. We get the 30 UL. And we go to this test, number five. We draw the 30 UL. We place it in the buffer. Shake it about 10 times. And then we get the 75 UL pipette. Withdraw. And place it in a little round hole in a strip and put it in the incubation chamber. And we have the last one. Get new tips. Again, 30 UL of serum. This has bubbles, so not good. There we go. You get the buffer. Pipette up and down. Or you can mix it. Whichever way you prefer. Right, so we get the 75 UL pipette. Withdraw. We'll 
and we place it in the little round hole of the test strip and put it in the incubation chamber. Okay, so right now we're doing these six tests at a time. Let me show you how the incubation chamber has an alarm system. As soon as the 15 minutes are up on each test, an alarm will turn on and you'll know to place the test strip in the P4 analyzer. So let's let these incubate and we'll be right back with the results. Okay, so we have been incubating the test for 15 minutes. This is a female that I got from the beginning of her heat until after ovulation. Each test strip has its own alarm in the chamber, and we're going to start with test number one. Okay, remember this one? I calibrated it to IDEX. This was the first day that we did the progesterone. Copy, copy. All right, the printer. And this one we calibrated it to Antec. Test number two is up. Okay, it says 140. Two point eighty nine in Antec. This is the third test. Two point forty seven in IDEX. Test number four. Five point ten in IDEX. Here's a printer. Okay, so you can give your clients their results. And here's Antec. in Antec. Now we go to test number five. Eleven point seventy four and with Antec we have Okay, test number six. Twenty one point twenty six. Okay, here's the printer if you guys need to give to a client and with Antec. Okay, so with Antec, the machine already peaked out, which is usually double as an IDEX. Okay, so we have results from both machines. And let me show you guys how the machines worked. On the first day that we tested with IDEX was 1.4. The same tests 
Calibrating the machine to Antec was 2.65 nanograms. The second day, 1.4 again with IDEX and 2.89 nanograms with Antec. The third day was 2.47 nanograms with IDEX and 5.94 nanograms with Antec. The fourth day was 5.1 nanograms with IDEX and 12.45 nanograms with Antec. The fifth day was 11.74 nanograms with IDEX and 27.37 with Antec. The sixth day was 21.26 nanograms with IDEX and 40 with Antec. The machine, the highest it'll read is 40 nanograms. So with Antec, she, the female already peaked out. The most important number you need to get is ovulation day, which is five nanograms or 10 to 12 nanograms in Antec. That is the most important number, okay? You need a number before five nanograms and a number after five nanograms. After studying progesterone and doing thousands and thousands of tests, this is the way I breed and I have 100% successful rate unless the female has ovarian cysts or any kind of reproductive problems. When I get to five nanograms, I skip a day and the next three days I breed. Okay, so my breeding days would be six, seven, and eight. The first day I would use fresh semen. The next day I would do ship semen. And the last day I would do frozen. If you're doing surgicals, you can do a surgical on any of these three days. If it's with fresh semen. If you're doing frozen, then I do recommend doing after you skip a day after ovulation, doing it the third day. Regardless of what progesterone levels you get. I've bred in 20, 27, 30, 35, 40, and the females always take. So the key is right here, ovulation day. If you have your ovulation day, you don't even need to do all these tests. Okay, you can go up to here and stop. You know you skip a day and these next three days you breed. For C-sections and reverse progesterones, I do the same thing. On day 59, I start testing and whenever she gets below 3.0 nanograms, then I do the C-section. Okay, the machines work really well. They're really reliable. They're cost effective. They're small. They weigh about five pounds. Um, tests are under ten dollars each test. That would be your cost and we have availability at all times. So if you're interested in one of these machines you can give us a call at 786-207-4470 and we'll be glad to help you out. Okay. Thank you all and God bless you. Have a great day.